Happy New Year from Province Sports. I'm Jonathan McDonald, and yes, the twirling around thing is my thing now, but it's n they make me do it. Specifically, Rafe Arnott, the province's video editor, makes me do it. So I'm sorry if I've offended anybody by my twirling, but Happy New Year, New Year anyway from Province Sports. Let's take a look back at 2013 for the Vancouver Canucks, the Whitecaps, and the BC Lions. And of course, the key storylines of 2014. A year ago, there was no hockey, so there's progress. A year ago, many people thought Roberto Luongo had played his last game here, and that he had surely, he would surely start the lockout shortened 2013 season in another uniform. No one guessed that by mid-year, Corey Schneider would be gone, and, and that this would be, reluctantly, Luongo's team again. That, folks, was the story of 2013. Sure, there was hockey in the end, though a fifth straight Northwest Division title for the Canucks seemed stale and uninspiring and unconvincing, which all came home to roost in a quick playoff exit at the hands of the San Jose Sharks. So Schneider was punted, and so was longtime head coach Alain Vigneault. In came Torts, John Tortorella, the famously fiery coach of the New York Rangers, who, it's often forgotten, won a Stanley Cup with the Tampa Bay Lightning a decade ago. Could Torts boost a team that looked same old, same old? Henrik and Daniel Sedin, Alex Burrows, Ryan Kessler, Kevin Bieksa, Alex Edler, and Dan Hamhuis, all of whom tried valiantly and in vain to beat Boston in June 2011 and haven't delivered many highlights since. Now, in a season where expectations going in were marginal, perhaps at best modest, there's something about torts. The Canucks are one of the NHL's hottest teams, something that had already happened earlier in the season. The torts named Weird Dude, David Booth, is showing flashes of the promise that's been, well, promised since he arrived from Florida in the fall of 2011. Zach Cassian, who will always have a relationship with Cody Hodgson in this market, despite having no relationship with Cody Hodgson, is coming alive. So is Yannick Hansen, a recipient of a so far rare torts outburst on the Canucks bench not so long ago. The Canucks have a plethora of Swedish goalies in attendance while Luongo convalesces, and young defenseman Chris Tanev and Ryan Stanton have been revelations. So, what are the expectations for 2014? Conservatively, Canadians expect Luongo to be on Team Canada and return from Sochi at the end of February bearing gold. What else should he bear? Well, for the first time in a few years, I haven't heard a soul predict that the Stanley Cup will be paraded down Georgia Street. But anything less than the playoffs will be deemed a miserable failure, and for the first time in years, it's likely that the Canucks will be looking for a first-round upset. And how about Mike Santorelli for Team MVP?